Okay. Um, so good evening, everybody. Um, so for my project, I really kind of wanted to focus on two things. The first being exploring open refine a little bit further, kind of its capabilities, um, but also kind of look more at the business side of the city directory that we were um, exploring throughout the semester. Um, Richard had kind of pointed out that my interest in the jobs that were listed in the general city directory um, could be explored upon with the business directory portion of the phone book. Um, and after going through the business directory, I noticed that um, each business was listed under the business type. So what kind of business it was, which was a specificity that was missing from the general directory that really in my interest was something that could help kind of using this specificity from the business directory as well as the demographic specificity from the general directory combining those to really kind of explore not just this larger picture of what exactly the business makeup of charlotte in 1911 was but to start kind of finding the nuances of it to better understand what economic and business cap um, opportunities were available to whom um, and such. And so I decided to use this project as kind of a case study to explore how to combine that data and then what what questions could be asked of this new set of data together. Um, so um, what I started with is that first off, while I did have the data set um, for the general directory that we had been using, I did not have the data set for um, the business directory. And so that required kind of taking a step back for a minute um, and going to Abby Fine Reader and doing the OCR for about 15 of the 52 pages that made up the business directory portion of the phone book. Um, just due to time limitations for this project, that's why about 15 of them were done. Um, but utilizing the box drawing feature to kind of read these different column like sections of the pages and to really kind of get each heading each business type and then each of the businesses that were listed under it the OCR gave me this kind of raw output um, at the end that became the basis for the business directory data set um, but this list wasn't going to be very helpful just in and of itself because um as you can kind of see from these boxes, again, you it's a heading with a series of businesses under it. And what I really needed in order to be able to combine the two data sets was to have each business labeled with its business type correctly. So I needed to basically take the heading and apply it to every single business um, that was underneath it. And so that's when I started to be able to go into Open Refine. Um, and fortunately, um, I started with just the business data set. And fortunately to kind of add this business type and label each and every single business, it was a fairly simple process um, using faceting and filter filters to really isolate the specific headings and subheadings in some instances, and then be able to filter them down um, into each of, each of these individual records and each of these individual businesses. And so afterwards, this was kind of the final business data set that I had going in for this case study, about 480 businesses, each with their appropriate business type. And then as you can see, in some instances, they had a more specific subheading to add, again, more specificity to what exactly this business was. And so I thought I was golden. I thought this was going to be great. Now I can combine and then I can start exploring this data further. But when I, after figuring out what exactly it was, what expression I needed in order to combine these two data sets, which did um, require a little bit of research, I figured out that I would need to do this cell cross um, expression. Uh, basically, my initial thought was I'm going to use names. I'm basically going to match the name of the company or individual that was in the uh, business directory with the name that is in the general directory. If they match up, I will ask Open Refine to bring in the business type from the business directory and attach it to that, the same person in the general directory. Bada bing, bada boom, I've got a new column and a new data set. However, I found that that was not going to work. When I did this initial attempt of this cell cross expression that you see on the screen, what actually ended up happening was a, only about a hundred records gained a business type, um, indicating that something was off, something was not matching. My initial thought was to try a different um, 
a different identifier. So both of these data sets included an address field. So I thought, okay, let me match addresses. And yes, when I that attempt did increase the number of records that gained a business type to 200. However, many of the records that gained a business type field were actually not included in the business directory data set. And after some exploration, it was because there are multiple people in the general directory who have the same address as a business does in the business directory, even though they themselves are not a business. So I needed to find something that could act basically as a unique identifier across these two data sets in order to match them exactly so that OpenRefine could do this cell cross. And that ended up being the name, um, going back to the name, but it realized that I needed to do more transformation work because there were formatting issues between the names in both data sets. So for example, as you can kind of see here on the screen, in the general directory, if a person's full name is included, the format is last name, first name, middle initial. In the business directory, which you see here, it's last name, first initial, middle initial. Um, and then as you can see also from this image, if it's a, it's a woman, her title is placed at the end of her middle initial, which is not the case in the general directory. So it became a task of, again, using facets and filters to really isolate these different categories of uh, formatting and different names to really kind of then do transformations to get them all basic to get the business directory to have this same kind of name format and then um, or excuse me the general directory to have this same format as what you see here from the business directory um, and from there oh and also um, in the business directory specifically with the clergyman their de the denomination of the church that they worked at was included after their name which was not something in the general directory so that too had to be transformed so after all these transformations um, took place I was able to redo um, my initial kind of cell cross expression again by names matching the names in both data sets and then pulling if if the data if the entries matched in terms of name the business type data would be pulled from the business directory data set into the general directory data set and as you can see here things actually started to match um and by the after completing this about 250 of the 480 um business directory records they matched general directory records bringing 250 business type um, entries over into the um general directory itself and so this was kind of the final data set combined data set that i was able to end up with um and kind of start looking at potential questions for um so what i started to think about is the reason why I wanted to combine these things was because the general directory had much more demographic information, much more specific information about the people themselves, and the business directory provided kind of an overarching view of life in Charlotte. And so combining the two, you could start to take pieces from each and really kind of look at the nuances of this larger picture of Charlotte. So kind of questions that I started thinking about were, is there any correlation between marital status and the type of business a person may run? What business and economic opportunities were offered to women at the time? Where did businesses occur? Are there specific parts of town? Um, are they inside the home, outside of it? What kind of are the, what is this, what are these details the data um, kind of suggests? And so just, um, excuse me, just to kind of give like a brief, look at that, I started to create some basic visualizations for this, looking at just on a more general level, what is the business makeup of Charlotte based on this combined data? But then again, getting more specific and into the demographics of it, looking at business divided by race. And then while because the data set that I was using from the business directory is rather small, this is really just kind of an idea here. But again, looking at in terms of that question of business opportunities offered to women at the time, looking at the marital status and gender in relationship to the types of businesses that um, people had in 1911 Charlotte. Um, and so really, ultimately, what I gleaned from kind of going through this process, seeing what Open Refine could do, and then coming up with some basic visualizations is there's um, quite a few opportunities to kind of take this combined data and go in a lot of different avenues. So just some ideas that I had is that um, at the 
At the top of the business directory, it notes that any of the businesses that are bolded or fully capitalized are considered to be leaders in their line of work. Um, and so now having this combined data set, part of me wants to go back and use OpenRefine to note which businesses are bolded and um, use the capital letters and then combine that with the general data set to start to look at what patterns can be found to that makes that qualifies a business as top of the line. What are the under? How did people in Charlotte understand a top of the top of the field business at this time? Um, again, kind of also just you know, again, I only did fifteen of the fifty-two uh, business directory pages for my data set. Expanding that, seeing what patterns come out, what strong, what new ideas come out, what becomes stronger in terms of the correlation between kind of the demographics of people in Charlotte in 1911 and the businesses. And then hopefully also just kind of on a larger level, um, this provides really a foundation in terms of both the processes and the trials and errors and the questions that can kind of be asked to bring together two disparate data sets, whether it would be to try and combine two other sections of a phone book, or if there are two data sets related to other archival materials. Hopefully, if someone came across this notebook down the line, they might be able to look at the process that I went through and the questions that I ended up asking, and be able to think about those things at the very beginning of their work, so that the actual process of combining the data is a lot more, is done much more smoothly. And so then they can really start to pull apart in this larger picture and look at the nuances. Um, but yes, that is my project.